हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस ऑन सेक्शन 270 ए वेयर द असेसिंग ऑफिसर हैज इनिशिएटेड एंड लेवीड द पेनल्टी फॉर अंडर रिपोर्टिंग ऑन द असेसी द टाइटल ऑफ द केस इज डीसी पोलिस्टर लिमिटेड वर्सेज डिप्टी कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एंड दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन वन जीरो सेवन आई टी आर ट्रिब्यूनल शॉर्ट नोट सेवेंटी सेवन द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाई मुंबई आई टी आई टी डी बेंच एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज सेवनटीन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इन द प्रेजेंट केस द रेलिवेंट असेसमेंट ईयर फॉर विच द स्क्रूटनी प्रोसीडिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन वॉज असेसमेंट ईयर सेवनटीन एटीन एंड द असेसी हैज शोन इनकम फ्रॉम हिज प्रॉपर्टी अंडर द हेड इनकम फ्रॉम House property and accordingly claim deduction under Section Twenty Four Clause A. When the assessment proceedings were going on, the assessing officer find that the assessee has shown the same income in the previous years under the head income from business. When this, uh, when the assessing officer made a query with the assessee about this. change of head during the current assessment year it was the submission of the assessee that the business of the assessee has substantially reduced during the current year and mostly the expenses were related to the business of the assessee so the assessee has shown the income from the property under the head income from house property and not under the head business income but the assessing officer taxed that amount under the head income from business by excluding it from income from house property and accordingly denied the deduction under section 24 clause a to which the assessee agreed and the assessee took a very conscious decision not to go for appeal regarding this uh, regarding this disallowance under section 24 clause a meaning thereby that withdrawal of this standard deduction from the income from house property because the assessing officer has taken this income under the head business income but after that the assessing officer initiated the penalty under section 270a for under reporting of income on the allegation that if that scrutiny not have been there then this standard deduction which the assessee is not entitled to claim would have been claimed by the assessee and claiming of this standard deduction tend amount to under reporting of income so the assessing officer imposed the penalty on the assessee under section 270a when the assessee filed the appeal before the cit appeal cit appeal also appealed the order of the assessing officer so the assessee did the appeal before the itat and in the order given by the itat it was the opinion of the itat that in the present facts and circumstances it cannot be said that the assessee has suppressed his income or under reported his income the reason for giving this decision was that it was the point of the itat that in the present case the addition in the case of the assessee has been made only because there was difference in opinion of the assessing officer and the assessee about the computational methodology of computing the income the assessee has taken his income under the head income from house property while the assessing officer has taken this income under the head business income so it was the point of the itat that this kind of addition is not under reporting of income and the itat said that in the present facts and circumstances the assessing officer should not have used his jurisdiction to initiate the penalty under section 270a especially where the explanation given by the assessee is bona fide and where the assessee has disclosed all the material facts and the explanation of the assessee has not been found false by the assessing officer the itat also said that here section 270a subsection 6 clause a applies which says that if the assessee gives the explanation and that explanation is not found to be false and if that explanation is uh, justified then in that case the penalty under section 270a should not be initiated and imposed on the assessee 
at the end of this video once again i am reporting i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is dc polyester limited versus deputy commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 107 itr tribunal at page number 77 short notes the matter has been decided by mumbai itit d bench and the date of the judgment is 17th october 2023 thank you friends